Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephen Nguyen and I own 52 units of real estate working as a full-time pharmacist. So yet just yesterday I was talking to my property manager for my 26 unit apartment complex uh, to get an update on the property and pretty much uh, to kind of summarize it for the past um, couple months I've been paying my $5,000 a month general contracting fee uh, over five months. So $25,000 total and he charged this fee because he helped me uh, renovate all 26 units, which costed me roughly $300,000. So kind of summarized, I kind of jumped there, but I bought a 26 unit apartment complex. Average rents was around $350 a door. The owner never really raised it to market rents. So when I took over the property, um, what I did was I renovated each unit for between ten dollars to $14,000 each, uh, depending on how uh, much renovation the units needed, but I basically got uh, new flooring, new kitchen cabinets, new countertops, new bathroom, fresh coat of paint, you know, remove popcorn ceiling. So these units look pretty new, pretty modern. And I was able to raise it to market rents of around $700 for kind of a C-class apartment complex, right? So I had my property manager who's a husband and wife team. Uh, the husband was a general contractor and the wife does the property management. So uh, when I took over the apartment complex, it was really nice. They helped manage my cash flow pretty well. For me to at least break even right at least in terms of the operating expense um so like what, what happened is when i took over the apartment complex uh i think 24 out of 26 were occupied so it's about 90 percent occupancy and um once i took over i think about out the gate i had about maybe four to six people leave uh, you know some people stop paying um, some people know that you're gonna raise the rent so they, they stop paying and they'll leave so i had about eight vacancies i believe and at that point, I was like, all right, let's start renovating these units, right? So we started renovating the units. And as those eight finish up, um, you know, some tenants that were in the older units wanted to move to the newer units. Um, and once they move there, now their unit is vacant. My occupancy stays the same, right? Because I just had, you know, unit eight move into unit number 20, which was newer. And basically, um, you know, they just would pay instead of 350 they, they moved into the newer unit and paid $700, right? Which was kind of like market rents. Um, you know, I would say slightly below market rents because I was able to rent it out so fast. But any case, um, and then they, they would move over and I'd renovate those units. And this process kind of continued for a while, right? So like literally I've kind of hovered around like eight vacant units for a while. And then the cash flow was enough to kind of like break even and maybe give me a little bit extra money to fund towards the next renovation. Right. So all of a sudden, um, in I think November of 2023, so November of last year, um, finally we finished all the renovations. And literally, I think in a month or two, we leased out like eight units. So I think at one point I was hitting 100% occupancy. So all 26 units were rented out. But realistically, I always hover like around 24 out of 26, about 90% occupancy. You know, there's always turnover in tenants. You know, maybe, you know, one leaves. Maybe one doesn't pay if they evict them. So it, I've consistently stayed around 90% of my 26 unit apartment complex. So, you know, basically I was able to achieve the rents that they projected and, you know, they're able to manage that property pretty well. So what happened was after renovations was done, the apartment stabilized. I'm now grossing between $16,000 to $18,000 a month, depending on occupancy. If it's hundred percent, I'm probably closer to 18,000. If it's 90%, I'm closer to 16,000. Right. And, you know, for context, my, my loan amounts about 2000. My insurance is, Ooh, what's my insurance? I want to say it's almost, it goes up every year, but I want to say it's almost like 2000 bu bucks a month right now. So that's 4,000. And then, um, I have another like 4,000 in, in, in expenses, let's just say. So, you know, if, if I'm making 16,000, that's about $8,000 a month in cash flow, um, for this property. Right. But now I'm paying $5,000 a month for the general contracting fee. Right. So the general contracting fee, um, they've been taking it for the past five months and I finally finished paying that off. Um, so it's been five months and now they reached out to me saying, Hey, you know, now that the general contracting fee is done with, um, we have some, you know, fascia and some kind of side planks that need to be, uh, repainted, touched up and, you know, paint the doors to make it look more clean and modern. Right. So, you know, he sent me some photos and just said, okay, well, it's going to cost you about, you know, $5,000 to fix this. And it, you're going to pay in two phases. You know, you're going to pay for the materials first. 
which is going to cost fifteen hundred dollars. So basically, you pay fifteen hundred dollars this month in July, and then most likely in August when the job is done, um, you're going to pay about thirty five hundred dollars in labor, right? And he said that he's going to you know break the expenses over time, so that um, you know I don't put all the expense up front. And I can let the cash flow from the property cover it because, like you said, I'm, I'm cash flowing eight thousand dollars a month, and I, I can draw from that cash flow to cover the, the expense of the renovation, right? So you know they're going to rip out some fascia, uh, repaint it. Uh, there's a sidewall that we want to replace, and then paint it like kind of like a royal blue, which is popular. And they want to repaint some of the doors on the exterior a nice kind of that same royal blue color as well, right? So. What I love about this property manager is that he's literally telling me what he's doing, and then I just need to say yes. So, like, this is the difference between a good property manager and a bad property manager. Like, he's watching and managing my money. Like, they know exactly how much I'm cash flowing, right? They they know that I'm cash flowing about eight thousand dollars a month, and they know that okay, if I'm taking five thousand of that for my fee, Stephen has about three thousand dollars a month. He's still cash flowing, which is good, but. Now that we're done drawing that five thousand dollars a month, now we can use that five thousand to allocate towards some outside renovation, and it's not it's not urgent, right? It, it's really they're not, it's not urgent. It's just a nice to make the property look good, look clean, look presentable, you know, to tenants. And like you said, we've always hovered at ninety percent occupancy, so I, I think that um, th they're managing it very well, right? So they would just say, yeah, it's going to cost us much. This is who we're using. We used them before, and you know, this is. The cost and the expense so this is what's what i mean by when you go to multifamily you need a good property manager because they, they need to run your property like a business right okay does it make sense to fix uh this thing that's not urgent now while you know his cash flow is only three thousand but once the cash flow goes up to eight thousand now we can use that money to fix it right it, it sounds simple and common sense but some property managers may not have that they just want to fix things immediately right so this is what i love about them and they're just like, yeah, it's, it's time. And, you know, it's hot right now <clears throat> in, in Oklahoma. So, you know, they can't work that long, to be honest. Like, you know, they, they probably finish work, um, you know, before the peak sun. So they might work from like eight until like, you know, maybe noon at best. And if it's still cool, then maybe they'll go a little further. But they, they want to avoid that peak sun from like one to four, right? So um, they only work four hours a day. And it, it's fine to go slow and steady, right? It, it, it's still business for the, the painter and, and the fixer. So it was interesting talking about it. And I just said, you know, hey, uh, can I get my updated documents, my updated P&L, just so I, I could track the cash flow. I could track um, the uh, expenses and the income. And he, he did mention, oh, yeah, hey, we, we see that your uh, – your gas bill from your 20 unit is going over to the account. Are, are you okay with that? And I just said, yeah. So like they, they even noticed that like $20 a month expense, which is very small. So they, they're watching my property like a hawk, right? And this is what I mean, property managers. Like imagine giving the property manager a lump sum of money, like almost like half a million dollars. And do you trust them with this half a million dollars? So at that point, I was saying, hey, you know what? Not looking to buy right now, or uh, I'm trying to strive towards buying again. But if you come across a good property, let me know, right? Like I'll buy it and then, you know, they're real estate brokers as well. So they'll get their commission and they didn't know how to manage a property. So that's why I said, all right, let, let me know if you've come across good deals. I'm not actively looking, but if you find one, send me one, send it over. If you think it makes sense. Um, and, you know, when I'm ready again, I'll probably do direct mail in Oklahoma and, you know, try to buy another apartment near the one that I have right now and have them manage it whenever things are more stabilized for me. Right. So what is stabilized for me? It's, you know, I'm getting used to my new job. I'm start, I've been there for about four months now. Um, I am building up a reserve again. Right. I am starting to max out my 401k. Uh, I need to pay off my life insurance. So once that those things are more stabilized and I'm more stable, then I could, you know, focus on buying more real estate or I can become a real estate broker and then document the journey this time. So hopefully you found some value from my conversation with my property manager. Um, hopefully you found some value from how I kind of manage my 26 unit apartment complex remotely and far away. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. If you're interested in buying your first apartment complex, check out my mentorship program down below. If you want a discount code, reach out to me directly. Uh, and please like, comment, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much.